Hi and welcome to another video of Yocto tutorial series. In this video, we are going to build the Raspberry Pi image using Yocto but in a Docker container. In this video, we are going to learn what is Docker, how to install it, the basics of Docker file, we will learn some Docker commands and at the end, we will build a Docker image that we can use to build our Raspberry Pi image. Let us begin. So let us begin with what is a Docker. So Docker is a platform that uses containerization to package and run application. It allows developers to bundle an application and all its dependencies like libraries and other binaries into a standardized unit called a container. This ensures the application runs consistently across different computing environments. So what does it mean? It means that, for example, if you have, if you are building a, a Yocto image on your system, and then you try to replicate the same process on another system, and on the other system it fails to build. So it means that there are some dependencies, some libraries that are present in your system but not on the other system. So you cannot replicate the process on any other system. So that's why there are sometimes problem occurs that when I build in my system. And if a learner or a viewer built in his own system, so sometimes he gets an error or there's a compatibility issue. To resolve this issue, we can use the Docker container. So, first of all, we need to install the Docker container. I hope you understand what is a Docker in a short term. To install the Docker, there are instructions on this website. I will put this website in the description. So for the Ubuntu, for the Debian, for Red Hat and all other host systems, there are installations guide. So here you can read and you can install the Docker in your system. I am not going through this whole page because it is not our topic today. But you can use this website to install Docker on your host system. Now let us begin with the docker file. So what is a docker file? The docker file defines how your docker image should be. It defines what should be inside your docker image, what folders you can have in your docker image, what permissions those folders must have or can have what username you can have, what password, all those stuff we define in the Docker file. But most importantly, what is our base OS, our base OS of the image. So I will explain you. So first of all, we need to create a Docker file. You need to go to your workspace or any other space that you, any other folder that you uh, want to use, uh, then go and write touch and docker file and d must be the capital this is the default file that docker can read so you have to write it in this way then we are going to open this docker file and here the first line must be from ubuntu from ubuntu 20.04 so what is this so this is our base image it means that our docker image will be based on ubuntu version 20.04 this is the image this is the version that we are using to build our docker image that we'll use for yocto after that we'll set something first of all we'll write here The Debian fronted not interactive it means that if you install any package we don't have to give the permission explicitly with the uh, typing yes it will do it automatically and then we have to set the time zone so this is the arc uh, uh, I'd say the arc uh, variable or arg uh, uh, how can we say it 
the word uh, that that is used uh, in the in the docker and this is the end for the environment to set the environment variable after that we will install the all necessary packages that we want and that must be installed to run our yocto so those are these packages and where can you find these those packages you can find them easily in yocto project guide so i will also share this website and here is the list that you need to install but uh, keep in mind you have to select here kirkstone and then you can use you can copy all of this but you have to remove this and here for example uh, let me show you so you do run and then it will install as it will update and then it will install all these packages and the run command runs before making the image it means these all packages will already be installed in the image before we run the image so these will be in the image automatically after that what we need to do is we need to give a username a user id the group id and our home so for that i will use the environment so env is like a, you can say that is the environment variable to save the environment variable it is the keyword to save the environment variable so i'll do environment so it will be username and the name will be tab site i'll give so this is not the convention uh, you can i'm using the here the capital letters uh, for the variable and the small one for the value so it's a key and the value kind of the username but it's not a convention you 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 do not have to name it uh, capital you can also name it small here but i am using the capital after that the group it i'll say group uid uh, uid or not the group id the user id and i'll do 1000 and then i'll do id i'll do it again 1000 and then our home I'll set it to home slash dollar and username. So you can use the environment as a variable. For example, this env, you can use this like a variable, and whatever username is here, it will be substituted here. It means like our home will be home tab site. So now it is just the environment variable it, it has not been created yet to create them what we need to do is we again need to run we again need to run the run keyword so first of all we will add this user to the group id so I will just I have already write it somewhere so I will just copy and paste it so I have added the group edit the user this will be used here then this will be the username after that we'll add the user after that we'll add the user with the user ID and this name and this will be the uh, with this group this this will be the user id this is the group this will be the home destination it means it will be the home tab site and the username then we will create our home directory and after that we will make the owner of this home directory recursively to the this user that means tab site so i hope you understand this part so if you don't understand just just uh, copy and paste because uh, uh, this is not uh, right now our main uh, uh, task or main uh, target. Our main target is to 
is to create an image that on which we can run our docker our yogdo so now i have created one more folder i have created one more folder inside our home it it name is volume so why i have created this volume folder i will i will discuss this uh, when we will create the container i think in the next video or the later video so for time being i have creating a volume folder and uh, using mkdir and i am giving the 777 as the uh, mode it means read write and execute to all users after that what we'll do is okay we will give the language and the uh, thing and the keyboard so again run and i'll give the nth length to this uh, keyboard after that what we need to do is yes uh, we have to set our user right now and then we have to set our world directory so we have to tell the Yocto, what will be our default user? It means that when we will log in or when we will start the Docker container, in which uh, which user we will be in. So here, so our user keyword, so the username. This will be our user, the default user, whenever we will log in or we will be inside the Docker container, and this will be the our work directory. So whenever we will be in the, we will go into the Docker container first time or something or any time. So this will be we will find ourselves in this uh, home volume folder. So I hope you understand till here. Now what we have to do is we need to build the image from the Docker file. To do this, I think the command is Docker. I think the command is. Uh, Let me check. Hmm. Okay. Docker built minus T. Now, what we have to do is we need to give the name to our image. So I'll say Yocto. Yocto and it should be I think in a small Yocto image and you can also give the version I will say Kirkstone it is not necessary that the version must be a number you can also write like Kirkstone after the colon and after that what we will do is we have to tell the docker here is our Docker file, so it is in our current folder. So I will give a dot. It means it is in current folder, and I will press the enter. So now the building has been started. So we have an error. Legacy value format. What is this? In line twelve. Ah, okay. Yeah, sorry. What we need to do is when we do this env. I think we have to put this these in inverted commas, I guess. I think so. Or not. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what to say? Legacy should be used instead of warning. This is a warning. It says that we have to do like this. Let me check. Do I already have a docker? Docker images. Uh, okay, we have docker image. 
So what I will do is first I will remove these two so we can begin okay and you will see so this is also the command to remove the docker image I will say docker rmi remove image and I will say yocto cloud store and then I will also say latest so let's say conflict was force okay we'll do minus f okay or I guess we have to do it or just to uh, we don't we don't name it as docker image we we'll name it something else so it is built again I'll say docker or we'll say you have to image cluckstone or you have to we'll do it you have to cluckstone no you have to image it will be better I guess you have to image and the version will be cluckstone and then this directory and then we press enter so so I guess I already have uh, Ubuntu that's why let me check the images once more okay so it is created okay it is created again so I think at your side it may, it, it may take some time but here we have our docker image created the tag is cookstone I hope you like the video In the next video, we will learn how to create a container from the Docker image and then how we will run our yoc 2 in that Docker container. So I hope you like the video. Please like and subscribe my channel and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.